Good afternoon and welcome to NYFP. This afternoon I'm joined by Bobby Heller of On Point Executions. Hi Bobby, thanks for joining me today. Hi Remy, good morning. We're here at the end of another trading week, and we're seeing choppy trading on this Friday. Now, given that all the fundamental issues that are leading to a lot of investors uh, fleeing from the stock market, how do you think the upcoming trading week will look? How it will end today? I I think they'll end on a down note today. Um, I I just think there's too much turmoil and too many people got too nervous over the last few days. Earlier in the week, uh, things were a little calmer, and uh, the market was mostly going up, and you know, on light volume. And people take that as a sign that things are good, but really all it is, I think, is people taking a pause to see what happens and reevaluate. Now that we have some uh, big down moves and uh, the new, the um, the atmosphere of the news that comes out seems to be a little more negative. It doesn't seem to be as optimistic. Like in, in the past when the market was rising, even when you had bad data, it still sounded cheerful when they reported it. So now everybody's saying it. Banks in Europe are, uh, you know, people are worried about that debt in Europe, they're worried about it. And of course, you know, we have our own set of problems here. Well, speaking of our own set of problems, uh, a lot of uh, investment houses, they have been cutting the GDP forecast for the U.S. for the rest of this year as well as next year. But how likely do you think it is that we could possibly be headed for another recession? Well, um, people have been asking this for a long time, and uh, they're really starting to ask about it again, uh, you know, this past week. I think uh, some people are putting a uh, the uh, percentage at like 50% or higher, I saw one economist 80%. I think it's a pretty foregone uh, conclusion that there will be some sort of double dip recession. Um, You know, but even if it's not exactly true double dip and we have zero growth or next to zero growth for a couple of months, that's pretty bad as it is. I've seen uh, one columnist in the newspaper actually calling this the lesser depression rather than the great depression. Okay, Bobby, last but not least before we wrap it up, but heading into next week, a lot of investors as well as traders will be paying attention to Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke, and we also have other economic data coming out next week. But how are you positioning yourself? I don't want to get long here. I think um, try to stay, you know, from a professional trader standpoint, I'd like to sort of be flat. Um, There are a lot of uh, strategies that professional investors are taking, you know, with options so that they don't just have to dump stocks all the time. Uh, Some of the guys I think are making, some of the uh, market makers in the options room seem to be making out pretty well, having been positioned like that with owning a lot of options and not being that tied to the stock itself. Okay, Bobby, as always, thank you so much for your time and have a great weekend. Thank you, you too.